過ぎた季節が嘘だとしても重ねたぬくもりは嘘じゃない君が残した背中の傷はとは今もずっと甘くてだからずっと痛くて Yo, what it do, you guys? It is your boy, Leon Mookie here, and I'm back with a new fanfic for you. This is a one shot and a special one shot for my best friend, the guy I see as that of one, as one of my brothers. This is the blue blur of MHA, a, well, Sonic slash My Hero Academia fanfic. And this is for his bur- and this is for, well, my best friend, Chris Crash Games' birthday present. And in case I won't be able to spend time with him, given that I might have to work on, th- on well, the day that he has that he- on his birthday. So I decided to, well, give him a present by making a fanfic for him. This is going to be a one, one and done one shot. So it's just. And if you guys like it, I hope you enjoy it, especially you, Chris. So, with that said, let's get into this, shall we, guys? In the world of My Hero Academia, the world is composed of that of superhumans. M- mostly, the superhuman population is that of 80%, while those without powers are considered to be the 20% of the minority of the human race. The people who have powers. They call them quirks, while those without powers are called quirkless. With, with, with the rampant of, of quirks, cr- new cr- crimes were dealt. It made it even hard for the police to deal with them. So a new profession was created. It was born, that of pro heroism. And soon, a new gener, a new profession, a new generation. Of heroes were born. Normally, this we would follow the story of this world's of the future greatest hero, that being Izuku Midoriya. But instead, this hero will be getting an in, be getting a visitor, another hero, a hero who has transcended both time and space to do what's right, while while being cocky at the same time. With And right now, he appears currently in to- in Japan, Tokyo, in one of the in one of the district ward cities of this metro- of this megatropolis, si- and that's of Ik Bukuro. Currently, a villain, a couple of villains have been causing quite a bit of trouble around around the city, as these villains call themselves the Wild Boys, as. They are basically a group of villains that go around that of Japan in destroying private property and public property around around major cities. Currently, right now, they are destroying a cu- the main str- the main downtown streets of the city of Ikebukuro, destroying co- shops, buildings, streetlights, cars, and many other things, just because they feel like they have the right to. Because of their quirks, with one with one of them having that of a well, an, that of an animal-like quirk that basically gives him the appearance of that of a of a minotaur, as he's basically the size of he's basically seven feet tall, muscular, and with that of bre- of gray skin, and with horns, with even having hoofs for for legs after all. As he runs into that of multiple buildings, causing a lot of property damage and possibly a few civilians getting hurt in, as well. The other one, as he has that of a fire of a fire quirk, as he generates fires through fire through his limbs, such as his arms and legs. He can manipulate his flames by well gathering around around him by creating that of a giant fist, create giant fireballs. And possibly, and even create that 
of ju- of giant well lances of fire with that burning through the streets and the buildings and cars as well. And the other guy, the supposedly their leader, as he has that of a Trump, that of a vibration quirk, where he's basically able to amplify his own body's vibrations and through his ner- through his nervous system, and causing that of small tremors that could even span to that of of well small fissure earthquakes, as creating cracks around the city as well. Within the earthquake leader, otherwise known as Sh- Rumble Shake, as he, his appearance shows that he is wearing a black trench coat hoodie right under it, being that of a, well, sleep, uh, a sleeveless tank top that shows his ch- that shows his chest a lot more. Also wearing that of long back, long baggy pants with that of combat boots with soon. He cannot but smile, saying, "You ain't you, you worthless, ignorant, and foolish masses, basically suppressing yourself, suppressing the use of your own quirks, just because you think that you can get in, because you get in trouble with the law. Please, everybody knows that we have the right to choose to use our quirks how we please. We have the right to sh- to show people the true meaning of quirk usage. After all, with." Then bringing out that of a book as being the book of the of read of Destro, the the book of the Meta Liberation Army, saying it is our birthright to do what we please with our quirks. Isn't that right, boys? With soon each of the other members of the Wild Boys soon appear, saying, "Damn straight." With then, however, it showed. A couple of heroes have already been defeated. However, four other heroes begin to show up. As the first one on the scene is that of the current number one hero, Japan, Endeavor. Within Endeavor saying, that's enough out of the three of you. It's time for you to surrender now, or if you don't, I'll incinerate you right here and now. With soon the fiery, vi- the fiery wild boy otherwise known as Ignite, couldn't help but say, oh, we're shaking in our boots, former number two. But whatever, doesn't matter. Like we said before, we had the right to do whatever the hell we want. We've already taken down a couple of heroes. You're just another one on the chopping block. With then the Minotaur, Minotaur villain, otherwise known as that of Apocasy. With then say, with then just grunting, as steam comes out of his nose. But then Endeavor Sink thought you would say that. That's why I'm still take. That's why I didn't come here alone. With soon hearing this, the wild boy, the wild boys got confused. But then coming down in, but then soon creaking up be- below them as that being ice. Which they look down as they see ice is creaking up on- onto their legs. With then. So, the leader, Seismic, can up and say, What the hell? How the hell did it? With soon, they begin hearing explosions with, uh, with above them. A boy with that of ashen blonde hair and that of orange and black attire basically screams out, Time to die! With soon, she basically blasting them with explosions. With then, what the the fire of the fire wire boy and ignite couldn't just get knocked back, but as he was about to send a fire blast right at the ashen blonde, however, was soon and then a green blur that looks like that of light lightning itself came behind him and not and basically knocked him out from that from a simple kick, sending him flying onto the street, knocking him out entirely. With then soon, that's this being a greenette boy wearing that of a green jumpsuit and bait and iron sole boots. With then soon, this is what seismic couldn't help but say, Damn it! Ah, 
Looks like Endeavor really did get some sidekicks. And they're for, and they're both from and they're all three of them are from UA. With all three of them being Katsuki Bakugo, Shoto Todoroki, and Izuku Midoriya. With then Endeavor soon channeling that a fi- a fire onto the onto the pavement as well, sending that of a wave of pure flames right at them. With soon Seismic using his uh, using his quirk to actually send that of vibrations to engulf the flames into the underground. With then uh, doing this leaves him wide open for that of an attack from that from both Bakugo and Izuka at the same time, as he soon gets knocked out from both the from that of the blunt kick to the back and the explosion to his back as well. With soon. Bakyo saying, I had that, Deku! Saying, sorry, Kachan. Just wanted to help out as much as I can, too. It's saying, then don't get in my way! With, then, apophyses. Basically seeing both of his comrades and friends basically knocked out, saying, You bastards! With, then, ice begins to creak up once again from Shoto. However, he... He's now in that of a blind rage. As his quirk, as the angry he gets, the more stronger his quirk becomes as well. With soon, both Shoto began to prepare his flames as he shoots that of ice once again with that in his fire as well. With soon creating that of a small explosion as it knocks him back. With then Shoto saying, did I get him? With soon, he he begins hearing growling once again, as then Endeavor saying, "Not even close," as he soon blitzes towards him, saying, "Flash flame fast!" With soon, he, Endeavor sends a fiery fist right towards Apophyses, with then sit sending him flying backwards once again, knocking him to the ground. With soon. Bakyo saying, <laughs> seriously, these guys have been causing trouble across Japan? What a waste. With then, soon, Izuki saying, remember, these guys are, are, are ranked stats of A rank vi- villains for a reason. They're not supposed to be easy. The reason that we are able to knock them out is because they were, because they were way too arrogant, after all. With then, Endeavor saying, and, we, and since we caught them at their peak of arrogance, it's, on, it's only reasonable that we were able to not beat them quite easily when they become too complacent. With soon, Apophrasy is getting back up, more angry as all he can see is red right now. With soon, basically scra- scraping his feet down onto the ground all over and over again, as then... He rushes towards him, creating that of a crater right behind his, right behind his feet, as rushing towards our heroes. Within, Izuku preparing his black whip, as he was going to channel his, channel the whips to hold him back. However, soon, right behind Apophyses, a blue-like portal begins to open up, as then something small begins to come out of it. With then coming right out of the portal, as as it being that of a bl- something blue, something blurry, as it's too fast for the naked eye to see. With then the per, it turns into that of a ball, basically tripping up apophyses as he falls down before being hit in the back at full speed, having the air knocked out of him entirely. With then. Soon, that ball turns into that of a small anim- anapomorphic animal, as he looks like that of a hedgehog. With then saying, whoa, I was not expecting to run into this big guy. I mean, it's, I mean, I, I, fa- I face against my fair share of supernatural creatures, but you had to take the cake. Now, I gotta know, where the hell am I? By any chance? 
as the small animal creature begins looking around with soon Shoto saying, Midoriya saying, uh, yeah, you know that guy saying, uh, no, am I supposed to know him? But then Shoto saying, well, you are the hero expert, so I thought you would with then Izuku saying, well, that makes sense, but I've never seen a hero like him before, not once. Honestly, I don't even think he is a hero. With then Baka saying, it doesn't matter if he's a hero or not. He just stole our er he just stole our glory after all. That bastard. With then Endeavor saying, if that's the case, he must be a vigilante. But looking at him, he looks like that of a kid. Is he starting out to become a vigilante? With soon Baka will get annoyed, say, hey you. With then Baku, the small animal saying, huh? Oh, yo, what's up? And with then looking at Bakugo, as he couldn't help but basically laugh, as then he's saying, what's so funny? Saying, oh, sorry, sorry. It's just that your outfit, you look so damn ridiculous for Mobius' sakes. I mean, you look like a, you look like a freaking edge. They're trying too hard to be an edgelord. Uh, also, are you wearing mascara under your mask by any chance? Because that is just so sad. With hearing this, Bakugo's crimson, crimson eyes basically getting widened as they soon show that of an unbridled rage of being that of humil- being, well, look, look fun at. With soon explosions begin to pop around Bakugo's palms saying, Oh... You're dead. With then Endeavor saying, Bakugo, stop now. Saying, what? You, but he's saying, I want to know. Who the hell are you? With saying, huh? Oh, who am I? Uh, guess I, guessing you don't know me, then I means I'm definitely in that of an alternate dimension. And there's a lack of animite. An anthropomorphic animal, other animals like myself here. That makes sense. With Sud, Izuku saying, alternate dimension. With Sud, Shota saying, is he being serious? He definitely has some screws loose. With then Endeavor thinking the same thing, but humoring him, thinking that he might need to capture him. With saying, all right then, what is your name? Saying, huh? Oh, right. Guess I should introduce myself. The name is Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. And speed is my game. And I'm also your everyday, normal, save the day kind of hero as well. And seeing you guys are doing the whole comic book hero kind of thing. Um, gotta say. Some of you really need to work on your fashion statement, if I'm gonna be honest. Especially the guy... Especially with the guy that looks like a, a giant ass explosion. I mean, come the hell on. With then Bakugo continue getting angry, saying, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. With then Sh Izuku saying, Please calm down, Kachan. With saying, Shut it, Deku. Saying, See? Am I? Do, does he not feel like a living explosion after all, wearing that? With then it. Shoto couldn't help but agree, but still keeping his eyes on sh on Sonic. With then Endeavor couldn't help but say, "If that's the case, you you interfered in that of hero do hero business. If you, I've got to have to take you in so I can ask questions about saying ah uh, ah uh, uh. Honestly, I don't got time to talk. Honest, I got to get back to my own dimension, and right now I need to find a portal." To portal so I can help my friends as then a, a wa something begins to beep as it coming from Sonic on his watch saying well, well I'll be damned a portal opens up and and a, a couple mile a couple well miles from here actually I'll probably make it there in about thir in about 30 seconds with soon Baka saying you're not going with then Sonic already gone with then everybody else looking around as Sonic is already behind them 
with Izuku looking behind alongside, and then Bakugo, and then Endeavor alongside Shoto too, saying, "Sorry, got. I would love to talk and love to know what you guys are all about, but I gotta go." Later, with then Sonic already blit, already blitzing across the streets, with soon Bakugo cut up and say, "Hey, get back here!" With then Endeavor already saying, "You three, come on." We have to catch. We have to catch after him. With soon, all all four of them begin to head out. With then Izuku rushing after Sonic as well. With then, as Sonic continues running down the streets, he can soon hear blasts of fire, explosions, and crackling of electricity, and ice creaking up behind him. As he sees that, the four of them are chasing him, saying, "Oh, trying to chase after me." I haven't had that. I haven't had this kind of experience in a long time. With saying, "All right then, if you guys can catch me, I'll tell you who I am." But I still got to get back to my world. So let's make. So let's make this, this chat, this well tag, this game of tag a lot more interesting. With soon Sonic boosting, pa- boosting even further. But then Bakugo saying, "Damn it, he's toying with us." Screw this bullshit! I'm at, I'm getting that bastard. With then, Endeavor saying, "Bakugo, don't be reckless. If you do, you'll." With then, Bakugo was that was trying to catch up with him as fast as he can as he gains that tunnel vision before getting well slapped, getting knocked into that of a wall. However, the wall was actually that of a moving truck. With soon. Bakugo has indented into the truck's back with saying, ouch, that's got to hurt. But that's one down and four to go with soon Bak- Izuku can up and say, catch on with then in Shota saying, Endeavor, Deku, you guys go on ahead. I'll get Bakugo with soon Izuku saying, uh, you, you sure about this Todoroki? With then Shoto looking at Izuku saying, We know that the two of you are faster than me, so get going now. With that, the two Endeavor and Izuku rushing after Sonic even faster. With Shoto trying to get the angry Pomeradian out of the moving trucks. With as then saying, Huh, this is what happens when you're too damn eager. But anyway, let's get you out of there so we can catch up with the others. With Shoto trying his best to pull Bakugo out of the moving trunk, moving truck, as it's well not going so well. Back with Sonic, he continues weaving and dashing through the streets of Ikebukuro as he's leaving the city and heading to the up to the other city of Shinjuku. With then Sonic looking at his watch, saying, "Almost there, just a little bit further." With then soon Sonic getting set, getting fire blasts coming right at him as it coming from Endeavor, saying "Stop right there!" Saying "Whoops! Oh crap!" With continue as Sonic continues dodging each and every fire blast from Endeavor. As for Izuku, he's basically pushing full cowing to that of well, ten, at ten percent of one for all. As he's still not fast enough to catch up with Sonic, but he's at least fast enough to try and keep up with with his speed. With then thinking, gotta focus, gotta focus. As then he prepares his Air Force gauntlets. With soon, he he sticks out his arm, saying, "One for all, Air Force shot." As then a kinetic energy of air was sent as Sonic, as Sonic soon. Um, actually dodges his air with then thinking, well, damn, these guys got are really something else. I doubt my fair share of robots and crazy gods, but humans with superpowers? This is a first. Honestly, I would love to come back to this world if I get the chance and have, and have some real fun, but I'm a bit of in a rush, so you think we could, well, calm this down at least a little bit? With then Endeavor Sink, He's just toying with us. Where soon, in Izuku began thinking, Endeavor, 
launch me forward with saying, what? If you give me a boost with your fire, I'll be able to catch up with him as fast as I can. It won't, I'll be able to, def and don't worry, I'll be able to defend myself using my quirk by pushing myself forward while also using your flames as well. So please, you have to trust me. With then hearing this, soon Endeavor saying, all right, Deku, don't fail. With saying, yes, sir. With soon Endeavor gets behind that of Izuku. With soon channeling his flames as then Izuku channeling one for all through his legs even more. With Endeavor preparing his flames as, as he internally go screaming, flash fire. Blast! With soon sending away, sending a powerful blast of fire right towards Izuku. With soon noticing, feeling the heat coming behind him, he soon jumps into the air. With soon, with the fu- as then he's saying one for all, full killing, air force smash. With then using the using one for all and the air force from his feet. And then the flames, as that, as a boost, he springboards towards Sonic at full speed. With soon, Sonic sink, began to feel something coming t right towards him, as he could without re without having that as a full reaction. He's soon saying, "Well, damn!" As then soon, he Izuku runs into Sonic, as the two begin to tumble and roll. With then soon, they they begin to roll around in front of something glowing and basically lighting up right in front of Izuku. With saying "Got you," with saying "Hey, whoa, I'm not gonna lie, you're pretty something else, kid." But to be honest, you think you could let go of me? Saying "I can't do that," you were illegally using your cork right now. I can't allow. With saying "Dude." Do you can do you really think I'm human? Look at me. With soon, uh, Izuku looks at Sonic, saying, "Well, you do seem way too short to be a normal human." Saying exactly. And honestly, even for mutation quirks, yours is way too spot on. But saying definitely. And honestly, I don't even know what these quirks even are right now. I'm just a guy just passing through. I was basically forced into your dimension on complete and total accident. I'm actually trying to get back to my world and help my friends. What saying? You, you are saying definitely. Look, I know this stuff seems kind of crazy and out of and out of this world from you from something like me, but to be honest, I deal with stuff like this on a daily basis. So to be on, so to be fair, I need to go. Right now, I need to go back to my friends. I need to help them, and I need to protect. Need to protect my world. So, if you think you could, with then soon, endeavor saying, "Deku, catch him now!" Saying, "Please, I'm begging you, man. You say you're a hero, right? Would another hero stop another hero from from trying to save the day?" With then hearing this. Izuku looking Sonic into his soul saying all right go saying <laughs> thanks you know just by looking at you I can tell you were the more reasonable one so but to be honest if I do end up save saving a day I want to try and come back to this world whenever I can and then you and and seeing how fast you are I can tell you're quite something else so next time so next time we meet Let's have a friendly competition and who's the fastest. With then hearing this, Izuku couldn't help but smile. But then Sonic going through the portal, saying, Catch it later. Uh, Izuku? Izuku Midoriya. But my hero name is Deku. Saying, Huh. Deku, huh? Well, I'll remember that the next time we meet. I got a name to the guy I want to race the next time. With soon, Sonic goes through the portal. But then, the portal closes. As then, Endeavor saying, Ugh, Midoriya, 
What, wait, soon, Bakugo and Shoto also catch up with Bakugo say, You let him go, Deku? What the de hell is wrong with you? With, then, soon, Izuku saying, Sorry, Kachan, but honestly, I think it's best when we do let him go. There's not really a chance that we're ever going to see somebody like him ever again. With, then, soon, Endeavor couldn't help but sigh, saying, <sighs> Personally, Seeing on how fast he was, I can tell he's faster than even Ingenium. And that's something I could ever say. With then, Shoto saying, faster than Ida? Well, that's a surprise. I'm still surprised that we were that the two of you were able to catch up with him. But then, Endeavor saying, I was barely able to catch up with him. Unless I wanted to burn down this entire city, then... Y then possibly I would be able to catch him, but I can't risk it. If it wasn't for Midoriya coming up with that plan of his, I don't think we could, but still. Saying, sorry, with then Endeavor saying, doesn't matter. Come on, let's head back to the agency. We still have more to we still have more work to do. With then the number two hero heading out as he soon flies off into the air. But then, Bakugo grumbling, saying, Next time I see that damn blue hedgehog freak, I'm taking him down. With then saying, Stop being such a sore loser, Bakugo. Saying, I am not a loser! With then, Izuku looking back, thinking, Holy meet again, Sonic. With soon activating full cow. As he running full speed before jumping into the air, catching up with the others. But on the ground, soon it shows like that of a ring, a golden ring. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. Especially you, Chris. Hope you guys hope you really enjoyed this. Sorry, I wanted to mostly focus on making this somewhat of a chase after all. I mean, knowing... Knowing the world of MHA, a lot of heroes would overreact on seeing Sonic as, again, seeing somebody like him would seem as normal, given the people with mutant-type quirks after all. However, there's only one problem. Sonic is way too short for, for a normal human to have that of a hedgehog quirk, especially his speed after all, because hedgehogs are not that fast. And I know I could have just used the Chaos Emeralds to make it that, well... None of where none of them could be able to catch up with Sonic at all, but eh, I wanted to make it a little bit more interesting after all, and have all four of them try to work together to catch up with Sonic. So yeah, because again, who can who can catch up with this with the blue blur? And let's not bring up DC and Marvel here, okay? In the comments, I mean. So, with all that said, if you guys like this, hit that like button. Hit subscribe. Also, hit that bell notification to keep up to date my videos when I upload on the channel. Also, please check out my Discord, my gaming channel, my main channel, and my Patreon. All link in the description below. So, with all that said, this is Leo Muki signing out. Later, guys. And I hope you all take care. Later. And happy birthday, Chris, my bro.